Hi, I'm Brian from iWire, and today we're going to show you how to depin a Subaru gauge cluster. We also carry the connectors if you need a replacement, and a depin tool set if you don't have them. And now we're going to show you how to do it. So once you have the connector unplugged, you'll see there's two small extra lock tabs, one for each row. So we're just going to do one on the top. See there's a little gap right here and right here. If you slide the D-pin tool in, you can lift it up and pop it out. These are a little different than other terminals because normally you have a pin that you're trying to lift up. These are a detent that are just sliding out sideways. So if you slide the terminal in the upper slot, there's the terminals in that slot, the lock is in the upper. Just slide it in and pull it out the back. So all that's happening is this is going inside there, releasing the lock tab with the pressure this way, and then it just slides out the back. And then to put it back in, same thing. Slide it in, hear the click, lock the tab. Second one, I'll show you how to do one in the bottom row. Same basic idea, there's a little slot in there, you can just lift it up and they'll come free. And then on the bottom side, the part is in that little, is in the, where it was the upper is now the upper again because we flipped the terminal, the plug upside down. It's slightly, if you look, it's slightly larger of a hole than where the terminal t plugs into the socket. So we're gonna just same thing. That's good. And then you can put it back in. Hit the click, same thing, push down, lock that back in and you're done.